Look.
Hi, Gail. Hello. Like the backdrop that you have in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes. I could. <clears throat> I, if if my operating system was a little bit more advanced than it is, I could, I could, I could do something weird in back. Not, not that that's weird, of course, but <laughs> something, <laughs> something appropriate. I think maybe a, a, a picture of the hut or something like that. Would yeah. Be nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. The zoom, the zoom tools are 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 pretty, uh, pretty good for that kind of thing. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Indeed, they are. Here, let me see if I can find one of the hut in my files. Steve, did you get all that, uh, that wood I cut up uh, moved? I got most of it moved. I'll the biggest chunk from the uh, the first tree that you're cutting there, the, yeah. the stem piece of it, uh, I decided I'd done enough, but I got all <laughs> the stuff out, out in the front of the house done, and then went and had lunch, took a break, and then went yeah. back. Uh, most of that maple tree moves. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, how, how are you going to split that up? Do you, you got a splitting mall and all that good stuff? I do. I'm... I'm not going to do it right away. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's going to be a while before I burn that. And so uh, 
Um, not really up for splitting right now, but I, uh, you're not critical, so. But thanks again, really appreciated it. Well, it was, it was a fun outing, you know, it was, uh, yeah. you know, it, this time of year, there's not much chainsawing to be done. So um, it's good to um, keep in shape, so to speak. Well, good. <clears throat> and Gail, I've been out walking in, in, in to, the, to the west of your house. I, um, I followed the trail that um, had initially brought me back to Montague Road, but I went in the opposite direction this time to see where it went. I, um, I'm still looking for a trail that has disappeared since I took it last in the 1970s and 1980s, but I could that, that was a long time ago, Jim. I know, <laughs> that was a really I know. long time ago. <laughs> it really was, <laughs> that dates me, believe me. Um, and um, mm. the trail um, eventually led, um, led uh, west and then divided. And, and I haven't explored the western branch, which might go over towards Brushy Mountain. But the southern end of it went south, uh, or excuse me, north towards um, where all the cutting uh, that um, there's, a, there's a, a guy who's cutting cordwood um, on, on Coles's land. Um, he has a skitter up there. And um, has been doing it apparently since 2005, according to uh, some. And, <clears throat> and I think that's that's the Jake Duty operation. That's the Jake Duty operation. Yeah, I, I was wondering. Yeah, he has that sign on uh, Dudleyville Road as you're yes. getting down mm -hmm. near the co-op. Yeah. Well, I didn't see him. Um, I didn't see him, but I did run into four hunters um, who were who were out. Um, uh looking looking not too thrilled with their lack of lack their of lack of, yeah <laughs> i think the deer have, you know probably gone down to uh, mar-a-lago in florida or something like that they're they're not around <laughs> um so they were we had a nice chat though um but uh so um that was an interesting hike. The trail is, you, you wouldn't want to take your bike down it, however, because the skitter has really torn things up and it'd be a real, and, so, and parts of it are a really muddy mess. But um, the upper part, which is still an uncut forest, is, is, is quite pretty. And um, I don't know where the western end goes. That'll be my next project to, to hike out that direction. Oh, uh, uh, Jim, I was... I'm going to caution you about hiking in the woods right this time of year because it is hunting season. Well, I do. I do wear my Shootsbury net. Um, uh, what is that color? The, the, you know, remember that 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 outfit you gave us to. Oh uh, yeah, the the sea the seamy green. Yeah, yeah, the seamy yeah. well, whatever it is, a bright yellowish green, whatever it is. So I I I put that on, and I, that hopefully won't make me too too desirable a target by by hunters, but. <clears throat> At any rate, uh, all right. I need to go get something to eat quick. All of a sudden, I realized I'm starving. I'm going to go uh, grab a handful uh, of nuts. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. <clears throat> well, looks like we've got Graham coming on board here, but he's not. Uh, well, he's he wasn't connected. <clears throat> video and audio yet. Well, he's working on it, I'm sure, as we speak. Oh, no sign of him yet. <laughs> All right, we have Graham joining slowly here. Mm -hmm. Nope. Well, nope. No, well nope. now we now lost, not, lost him. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> and are you expecting Craig? Or is he still out in the, the West someplace? I didn't hear anything from him saying he was not coming, but. Hmm. 
We'll, it's already three after. We'll start as soon as Graham gets her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, looks promising. Do we, do we have plenty of whoops? There it goes again. Do we, Gail? Do we have plenty of NSTs? I, you know, Graham might know this um, over near where the uh, cell tower is going in. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, because my guess is that, you, and we and we don't have a commercial rate for for companies like AT and T, do we? Because they're the ones that are going to be um, setting up shop there at the foot of this 160 foot tower. Right. And I assume they're gonna want fiber. So is this something that's actually going forward, Jim? Oh yeah, well, it's, they've, they've dug this, uh, this rather ugly looking driveway uh, from Wendell Road into where they're gonna pour the concrete pad where the tower is gonna sit. Oh. And, and, um, oh so, that's where it's going i thought i thought there was a house no 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 that's oh. that's, a, that's huh. a cell cell tower right in that one of the highest spots in shootsbury so it makes a, sense yeah it's 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 a good location of course but but where, where is it again? it's on when it's on wendell road as you drive south to wendell road it's just a little bit um um south so of the wendell Loxpond road connection there it mm. is my laptop will not open the freaking application. Uh, mm. so, yeah, yeah we, so, we saw you uh, kept joining and then leaving again. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing personal, folks. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I don't know why my laptop buttons won't uh, won't press properly. So um, uh, this will have to do. I might play with it in the background, but uh, I will try not to be distracted by it. Yeah, so how are you all? <laughs> Good. Hanging in there. Here come the Good. holidays. Get ready. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't wait for them to be over with, frankly. <laughs> 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 okay, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I don't know if Craig is coming or not, so let's just get started. Um, so... We have um, first order business as usual is approve our meeting minutes. These would be from November 17th. Um, I make a motion that we uh, accept as submitted. Second. Second. Great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. All right. Um, Hut report. Graham, any newsworthy events? Um, no, nothing, nothing dramatic. I went in there, um, as you know, Gail, the, uh, need to put the new batteries in the keypad. Um, it, uh, very cleverly informs you of the problem. And, and then you sent me the, the YouTube, uh, the YouTube to tell me exactly how to do it. So, um, the keypad is happy again now, I guess, uh, what's that a year and a half, maybe the batteries lasted, uh, is it oh, two no, years? No, no, more than that. I mean, we, we yeah. installed, we installed that in 2000. 19. 19. Yeah. Right. So it's a good haul. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see, on the 25 uh, trouble tickets or help tickets, I should call them, uh, there were 11 voice, uh, which were mostly routine, you know, um, uh, you know just um, administrative questions and spam and voicemail questions and stuff. Um, there was uh, there was barely any service problem with all of those 11 VoIP um, um, trouble uh, help tickets and of the 14 uh, of the other uh, help tickets 14 uh, are for internet uh, the questions and issues were mostly routine again um, uh, and um, and there were only four possible problems um, two were called intermittent internet and two were email issues so uh, 
So really there were only four things that might have been issues and um, hardly that. So, so anyhow, uh, overall the whole year, um, there were um, 15 installs, um, uh, roughly, um, pretty close to for the whole system. Um, and uh, looking at the repair totals, um, I don't know, Gail, have there been any more in December, but there's about 24 no. repairs. Okay, 24 repairs for the whole year, mostly drops. Um, a couple of the um, repairs were actually uh, uh, a couple of jobs, uh, renovation contracts where they go out and take it off and then put it back on. And I assume the customer pays for it. Um, and, um, and 2021 seems to have compared very closely on, um, on trouble, on, on sorry, repairs, um, where there were about 30. And the, uh, the only difference to last year was two of the um, repairs were distribution cables, as you'll remember, well, Montague Road and, um, and where it got knocked down on January Hills Road. So there's, uh, there's you know, there's the luck for the year, maybe, if we shouldn't curse our luck, but, um, uh, yeah. but yeah. Great. Welcome, Craig. Thank you. Um, you know, that suggests that a lot of Labrett's early problems were, were due to bad installs. Yeah. They had really yeah. bad luck, quote unquote. Yes, yeah. I, th I think it was the installation wasn't fantastic, was it? I agree. No, no, no. They had tremendous trouble. Yeah. I should warn you all that I may, I may ha have to leave unceremoniously. I've got tons of stuff going on, so. Yes, and it's we get it. <laughs> I get it. Ceremoniously, <laughs> though, it's not because I'm angry or anything. <laughs> Great. Um, all right. Uh, financial report. How are we doing, Steve? Okay, we are doing very well. We have a balance of one hundred sixty-three thousand five twenty-one, um, and money continues to come in every month. You know, we're still running 39,000 and change every month. And uh, Crocker uh, automatically deposits that into the account most every month. And uh, we uh, paying the regular bills. And so all, all going smoothly financially. Great. Um, Steve, yeah, you oh, and oh. I've begun to uh, rough together a FY23 budget, which I'll be working with Gail on uh, in a little bit. So, yeah, great. Graham has cloned himself. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> the other one off. <laughs> hmm. All right. Um, so, Steve and I have been talking offline a little bit about um, making sure that the financial records that he keeps are backed up in some way. Um, and so um, the two options I see are to use our uh, towns, our, our town account Google Drive. So we have the um, broadband at shootsbury.org Gmail address, and that comes with uh, 15 uh, gigabytes of space. We've only used four of that because right now it's really only used for Jim's meeting minutes. And so there's plenty of room for financial spreadsheets. So um, I'm thinking since we're already using that um, for our minutes that Steve will start there and I'll figure out a time to meet with you offline to get your laptop set up for that. Um, if that if that doesn't work, we run into problems. Um, then we can always look into Dropbox. Uh, Steve and I also talked about the fact that we have $500 in the budget for just kind of miscellaneous supplies. So if we needed to get a, a um, Dropbox Pro account for Steve, uh, we could certainly do that. And this is for backing up what? Your, our, our financials? Yeah, our financial, financial records. reports that are on my laptop computer, which Jim, you know, is not the most dependable piece of like oh well <laughs> yeah oh dear <laughs> all right <laughs> and so i periodically um uh, put things onto a thumb drive and i have a dropbox account but it's just it's the free one which you upload to it but it, i cannot get with the free account 
to for it to automatically update. So, you know, I'll be working a few months. So I think, oh, I haven't, I haven't backed that up for a few months. I think, you know, with the business we're running, we should have everything backed up in, essentially in real time. So, yeah. And just so everyone knows that, you know, I keep all of our, um, all of our just regular files. Um, they're on my uh, desktop hard drive. And then they're also backed up over Carbonite and they're also backed up over Dropbox. And once a year, I put them onto a big thumb drive and put them at the town hall too. So there's a lot of redundancy there. Um, you know, it's, it's mostly cloud, but I feel okay about that. Um, all right. Um, I can't remember if we talked about that security audit last time, but um, that's in the hands of the company. We shouldn't expect anything till after the new year. New year. Um, I've worked with Crocker to get 10 more routers ordered for our last meeting. We also have 15 of the Calyx wall warts for the ONTs on order. Um, the uh, failover test for that one gig MBI circuit has, it, it got delayed. It was supposed to happen on December 6th. Uh, they're switching over to a different reporting system other than Scrutinizer. Uh, Scrutinizer is good, but it only includes the IP traffic. It does not include the interface data. So I think it was Graham who had asked, like, can, you know, can we get that other interface data on there so that we can see when there's a, when um, our backup system kicks in. Um, so since they were planning to switch out a scrutinizer anyway to this other report, they'll put that new report in place and then do the failover. So we can test both of those simultaneously. Yeah, could, could you offer a brief explanation of what this interface, interface um, data is? No, because I don't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it just, it, it, it just, yeah, it, it's not, it, well, no, it, it just an, a different reporting system besides scrutinizer. So mm. you, but, but uh, what, uh, uh, what is it that uh, scrutinizer didn't offer that the new system does? That was what I was. Got it. So, so scrutinizer only shows the IP address traffic. So we, we know every day we see these spikes that go up and down and, you know, it goes up to 3.5 and um, gigs that, you know, every day up and down. And, um, but it does not include wh where that's coming from. So the new report would say, here's the crown castle coming in and here's the MBI. So, mm. you know, we'd see MBI flatline, flatline, pretty much all the time. And then we'll see a little spike when it gets tested. Um, okay. Scrutin scrutinizers seem to only be plugged into the, um, into the, um, into the, the end of the 10 gig crown castle. So right. that was the only thing it was monitoring. So I guess, the, yeah, when they ref referred to a, uh, to a knife, uh, to the interface, an interface could be anything, couldn't it? But, uh, um, but um, sorry, I got to ignore. Um, um, but the interface could be anything. But I assume they mean the interface in our hut, which is you know, which could get an MBI thing or the Crown Castle thing. So um. okay. Yep. All right, Crocker is still um, trying to find another vendor. They've pretty much settled on Surtex, but they are taking a loss right now on um, any service calls. So um, they're, they're not entirely pleased about that, uh, of course. Um, but there haven't been very many service calls, right? No. <laughs> it's not too bad a deal. No, no, it's not, not bad at all. Um, hopefully, hopefully that will continue. Um, cause yeah, every, every time there's some kind of maintenance event, they're going to lose money. Um, all right. Well, that was, um, believe it or not, all I have for kind of our normal business, um, for the night. Um, 
And so does anybody else have anything else for the open meeting portion? Steve? I just wanted to ask anything, heard anything more from uh, Westfield about the uh, ring proposal? Just Nothing. De dead. Yeah, ra radio silence. Okay. Yep. Graham? Uh, every now and again, I think um, our hut needs a little step ladder. Um, uh, which, you know, probably $19.95 in, um, you know, um, in Home Depot or something. So uh, any, any objections to me buying a little step ladder? It stops. It, it means you don't stand up on a folding up chair, which of course, you, you, yeah. So anyway. Yeah. We, we, we want to be OSHA compliant out there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly an OSHA approved. Yeah. You know, uh, Why don't you just uh, check with um, uh, Becky, I guess. Um, and um, to see about using the credit card, the town credit card. Oh, good luck I, with I, that. Yeah, I find I, I I find that like an overhead that just so uh, is yeah yeah. I, I think okay that, okay. I'd rather pay the sales tax. Is, is okay. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I I find that too. When I buy incidental stuff, I just buy it and and then <laughs> pay the. <laughs> pay the dollar 32 in sales taxes is not worth my time yeah, yeah. I, I agree yeah um all right anything else uh yeah there was a uh, on the on queue thing the uh, generator a little while back we might have some of you might have got the email saying some maintenance was due when i was waiting for mm -hmm. pachorik to do that we never heard whether pachorik did or not i'll, I'll contact pachorik and ask him uh, or, or Gail, um, do you want to see if the on-queue thing still has a status flag set against some service, some routine service? Petroic might have done it. They may not have. They may just not have bothered to reset the on-queue um, uh, tool. But um, right. Um, when did that come through? Oh, about two just... months ago. Two and a half months oh, ago. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't remember this. Is it... okay. So there's a little flag on the if you don't if you don't immediately see it on the on queue application, um, then I'll I'll send you a screenshot of it or something like that. Okay, so. great. Yes, yeah. Send that to Graham, me if you would. Was, Graham, was that the email saying that the on queue system was not it was down? Sort oh, of. Oh no, no, not one of them. No, that's just no. a yeah. That just now th this was a um, this was a service requirement. Because uh, because the on queue, the actual people who uh, cola said there is some maintenance that is due, either because of the number of hours it's run already, or uh, in, in warm up and whatever. Or, you or, know, it would probably be good to have Pachorik do a servicing of the unit, change the oil, change the filters. Um, you know, it's been long enough. And I, I would I would say there's a that you know Pachorik they're the dealer for the for Cola they they know what the yeah they know what the maintenance routine is yeah they but I don't know that he's done it we they may have, have yeah we yeah have, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah we do we do pay for that we um, do. as as for for them to do that annual maintenance of the you know the battery check the oil filter check um, if yeah. they ha have done it we don't know yeah, yeah we've never paid for it being done. The idea was that he would come up and do both the town hall generator and our generator, build the town, and we would reimburse the town for it. You know, let's just us get ours serviced, have him build the MLP, we'll pay for it out of we we have we have this in the budget. And you know, if Becky wants to have the town hall generator serviced. She can call him for that, but let's just keep ours um, serviced. Okay, I'll I'll check on it and um, have him have him do it and uh, put it in kind of our annual tracking calendar of all the things that need to get done, so that um, there's a there's a trigger to get that done repeatedly. Mm, that would be that would be great. Yeah. yeah. Gail, I'll pull up whatever that message was on the uh, on the on queue thing, and um, and I'll send it to you. Okay. Thank you. 
It, it might be like the maintenance required light that comes up on your dashboard when it's time for an oil change, which I always ignore that because I keep track of that on my car, but this might be a good thing actually to, you know, it, it might It might be, yeah. <laughs> point out to us. All right, anything else? No. Okay. Um, so we are going to adjourn our regular meeting now at 5.24 p.m. We're gonna move into executive session in a different Zoom. So um, check in, in your email, I put in the second Zoom. Um, so log out, close, close down. Before, before you log out, we need to make the motion to go yep. into executive session in open session. Yes. And yes. announce that we're not returning to open session. Yes. Um, we, before, we adjourn this one, right? But, right. Yeah, right. But, but, but before we go okay, there, we, we have to we have to follow the process. So before but, we but, adjourn this one, we need to make the motion and vote the motion to go into executive session. So I move we go into executive session to discuss contract negotiations. Here a second. Second. All in favor. Schmidt, aye. Say your names. <laughs> I know it's Afton. dumb. We have to do it. Sefton, yes. <laughs> Hemingway, yes. Oh, okay. There. Great. Thank you. Um, so we're following all the um, process for this. The session must be convened. An open meeting notice has been given in our minute in our agenda ahead of time. Uh, the purpose of this executive session is to discuss our uh, contract negotiations with Crocker and Sheld, South Hadley um, Electric and Light Department. Um, and we've called a vote and this meeting will not reconvene uh, after adjournment. Um, we will move to a private Zoom and we have taken the vote. So that is all of the parts of that. Um, so everyone has, has the Zoom link from the email I sent? Anyone not have it? No? Okay, great. Uh, close it down. I'll see you in, in five minutes on our next Zoom meeting. And this portion is adjourned. See you there. All right, bye.